Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Joji and I do makeup tutorials and makeup reviews here on my channel. So if you wanted to see more of my future videos, make sure that you are subscribed. So in today's video, I will be showing you guys a lip swatches of nude lipstick. So I have eight colors for you here. I have more. But I think this is one of the best nudes that I enjoy a lot every time I wanted to wear like a nude lipstick. And these ones are so beautiful. So I cannot wait to show you guys all the shades. If you are curious, just keep on watching. We are going to start. The first shade I have here is from NARS. And this is the shade called Belle Du Jour. So I'm going to give you a swatch one by one before I apply it. So this is how it looks like. So you know, I'm going to give you a swatch here. Ooh, this is a beautiful peachy kind of nude really warm color take a look at that that is such a stunning color and when i put it on my lips it's not going to show a lot more compared to the swatches so with this one you actually need a lip liner because if not this is going to look pale on you so that's how it looks like on the lips, like I was telling you earlier. It looks very pale, but once you have put a lip liner, it actually looks really good. So this is a lip liner from MAC. This is in shade Spice. So there it is. So what this one actually does is most of the time, the lip liner will do the job and you just apply this in the middle to get a little bit of ombre look. And a lot of people really like the undertone of this because it's very nice, peachy, warm, but you have to be very careful with what type of makeup you're wearing with this because take a look at that. I mean, that's beautiful, but you need a lip liner on this one. That's just what I'm saying. So let me clean this up before I jump with the next product, of course. So take a look at it. Next up, I'm going to talk one of my all-time favorite nude for so long, and this is still one of my favorite one. This one is from Clinique. This is called Blushing Nude. This is perfect for my skin tone without even a lip liner. This is one of their old packaging. I believe they changed their packaging, but this shade is still available. It's called, again, Blushing Nude. So let me apply this. So take a look at that. It's just so beautiful. It really, really matches my lip tone. That's why it looks nude. On the case, it actually looks a little darker, but because of my lip undertone, it looks like it's just a nude for me. And without lip liner, it's beautiful already. So again, nude something is, you know, you, it's very subjective. It really depends on your lip tone, your undertone, your skin color. So it will show more if you have more fair skin, kind of like fair uh, lip tone. It's gonna show more, but because I have already a darker lips to begin with so this one just looks like nude to me and this is the swatch it's beautiful it swatches really really pretty and here it looks darker as you can see but on my lips it just looks nude and this is so beautiful it is a satin finish so it's really really comfortable on the lips and look at that without lip liner I'm good with it so this is my all-time favorite nude from Clinique, a blushing nude. Let's jump into the next shade. The next nude lipstick that I have for you guys here is from Estee Lauder and I could tell you how many times I have worn this nude already. It's just so beautiful. It is perfect for a very dramatic eyes. Look at that. I'm gonna give you a swatch as well. Oh my goodness. So this one definitely has more mauve-ish pink undertone compared to that Clinique. And it's very creamy kind of formula, so it's comfortable as well. Let me put this on. There it is. So that one is an absolute nude lipstick. So anyone could wear this and it would look like just like a nude lipstick. So it's 125 Pure Color Envy Lipstick, 125 Nude Cult, C-U-L-T. Is that right? Yes. So take a look at it. And this is the swatch. Yeah, this is so pretty. All right, let's jump into the next shade. Next in the line is from MAC, and I'm pretty sure you have guessed it by now, but if not, this is in the shade Velvet Teddy. This is a beautiful nude lipstick. So I'm gonna swatch you first. Take a look at that. This one is definitely more on the semi matte finish. It's almost similar to the Clinique one here. But the one from MAC has a little bit more of a pink peachy and a little more opaque because this is a semi matte and the clinic one is definitely a sun finish. So let's try this on. 
there it is. It's beautiful. I mean, this is something that I could actually wear every day without having to worry what kind of makeup I'm looking for because this is almost like a nude but has just like a tiny bit of color in it. Like not super like pale. And you don't need a lip liner on this one as well. It's very similar to Clinique. No lip liner but it looks really good. So this is how it looks like. It's just more on a matte finish. And let's go on to the next shade. I'm excited for this one so keep on watching. Next shade will be from Dior and this is called Nude Look in Matte Finish. Of course, this has to be on my list because this is just a beautiful nude lipstick color that, I mean, almost everyone can also wear. It has this like sort of like warm peachy kind of pink undertone. I mean, by now, if you're looking at all of the swatches, you're probably thinking they all look very, very similar. Don't be surprised because we're talking about nude lipstick here. They might be, you know, some of them slightly darker, slightly lighter, slightly pink, slightly um, warm, you know, sort of those things. These are the kind of lipstick that we cannot have enough, but you just want to have an options, right? So this one is definitely one of my favorite nude lipstick that I've been wearing lately. So let me try it on. there you have it it's beautiful you guys it's almost like really really close to my lip color without looking like darker but it just brightens up a little bit look at this it's so beautiful it's like the perfect shade for my makeup right now and i'm just so in love with this shade i really like this one from dior and it actually comes on the kind of high shine lipstick that they have as well which is i got it because I really like it. That's how much I love this shade. So take a look at one more time. There you have it. New look from Dior. Let's jump into my next one, which is amazing too. Of course, they all amazing. Oh my goodness, my lips is trying to tell me. Stop it. <laughs> okay, next shade I have here from Tasha Dinona. So this is one of her recent launches. This is from I Need a Rose Collection. And this is in the shade Kala. This is a beautiful shade, semi matte with a little bit of like creaminess. And this is definitely a beautiful pigmentation. It's awesome like it's oh my god really really love this it's a lot more warmer and this is the swatch oh my goodness they all look very similar but they're different you guys they're absolutely different so this is how it looks like on the lips take a look at it perfect so next shade i have is actually a sort of cream and a liquid matte so i'm very excited for this one so stay right there hang on i'll be right back already so next shade is from nars you guys again this is a beautiful nude i don't wear this a lot because of the finish it is matte but you can actually put a lip gloss on top of this or a lip balm that is clear so this is in the shade get it on so get it on let's shake this because we have to put it on <laughs> it says get it on beautiful beautiful nude lipstick okay so it's going to dry down matte the only thing that i don't wear this a lot because like i said it is a matte finish and most of the time if i wanted to wear a nude i want it a little bit more glossy that's why i put gloss on top i'm gonna give you a swatch look at that right it's so pretty as well and it would look different on other skin tone too if you have more fair like i said this will look more fair on you but for me right now it's just a perfect nude really really pretty too i like this but i definitely would wear a gloss on top and also a lip liner if i were to like go out with this one perfect next shade i have here is the most beautiful nude that i have you know discovered recently so let me clean my lips and i'll be right back okay so i just finished cleaning my lips and this is how it looks like right now it's pretty irritated but i mean i'm very careful i'm using the clinic take the day off one this is really good of removing the lipstick so let me just clean it up okay so i'm ready last but not the least this one is from makeup by mario in the shade miss mauve if you haven't seen this yet i'm sure you would love it as well because the formula is unique to me i really like the shade it's beautiful so let's apply 
And there you have it. Oh my goodness, the amount of attention and love that I have for this shade is like a lot. It's so good. Let me give you a swatch. So it has this like mauve pink purple undertone. I mean, it's a little bit brighter kind of nude on this uh, collection that I have. But when it comes to my lips, really, it doesn't show that pink. So like, again, I said, it really depends on your lip tone. And this one is just perfect. It's a creamy formula, which is amazing. It's very comfortable. It smells really good. I love it. And take a look at it. So I think that's everything that I have for you guys. And I hope you guys find the perfect nude for you today. And take a look at all the swatches again. I will put all the name of this lipstick down below so that you guys can actually find the names. And if you're not sure how to call them, I will write everything in there. So make sure that you just go read on my description. And yes, that's all I wanted to do for you guys today. I hope you find this video useful. Please give it a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And I will see you on my next video. Thank you guys. Bye.